Hello! Today, I want to brief you on how to complete the Household Application Form for Student Financial Assistance Schemes. This is a form which facilitates families to apply for financial assistance for pre-primary, primary and secondary students from the Student Finance Office SFO, under the Working Family and Student Financial Assistance Agency WFSFAA. Before starting, if you want to know the details of financial assistance schemes for pre-primary, primary and secondary students first, you can watch the video on the Introduction to the Household Application for Student Financial Assistance Schemes on the website of the WFSFAA. Next, I will introduce to you how to complete the Household Application Form and how to submit the application and supporting documents. This video is divided into several chapters to facilitate your viewing. Apart from watching the whole video chapter by chapter in sequence, you can also select a particular chapter and watch that chapter directly. Now, let's start with the introduction on how to complete the Household Application Form. The application form is mainly divided into eight parts, namely Particulars of the applicant Particulars of family members and financial assistance schemes being applied for Residential address Family income Medical expenses incurred by family member or members with chronic illness Applicant's bank account for payment of assistance Applicant's supplementary information and declaration the assessment year mentioned in this video generally refers to the preceding financial year and the school year of application is marked on the upper right corner of the form. In addition, the relevant financial year and school year of the information required for the application are stated clearly in various parts of the form. If you are a continuing applicant who uses the light yellow pre-printed application form SFO 106B, you will see that relevant data is pre-printed in the shaded areas of Part 1, Part 2, and Part 6 of the form. Please verify the data. If the data is correct, you do not need to repeat filling the information again. If any revision is required, please fill in the updated and correct information in the spaces provided on the right-hand side. In addition, please fill in the required information in the sections that are not pre-printed with data. Other applicants, including new applicants, should fill in the light blue application form SFO7B. This form can be downloaded from the website of the WFSFAA, and it is also available at district offices and schools. All right, now let me brief you on how to complete the form. In Part 1 of the form, applicants are required to fill in their basic personal information, including Chinese and English name and title, correspondence and email address, year of birth, Hong Kong ID card number, telephone number, marital status, and ethnicity, etc. Please note the following points when filling in the information. First of all, when filling in your English name, please use block letters Write the surname starting from the first box and leave a space between each word. The SFO may contact the applicant when necessary. Therefore, applicants must provide the correct correspondence and email addresses. If the applicant changes the relevant information after submitting the application form, please notify the SFO in writing as soon as possible. The notification should be duly signed by the applicant with the application number or Hong Kong ID card number of the applicant provided. If the applicant does not reside in Hong Kong, please provide the contact address in Hong Kong for future correspondence. Please fill in the Hong Kong ID card number according to the format on the form. If the applicant is not a holder of Hong Kong ID card, please fill in the item of other identity document type using the codes shown on the screen and provide the relevant identity document number. These codes can also be found in the Notes on how to complete and return household application form. After that, please write down the Hong Kong mobile phone number, 
so that the SFO can issue notifications by means of SMS, such as acknowledgement of receipt of applications or notifications on payment. If home telephone number is available, please also provide it in the form. Here, applicants are required to fill in the marital status in the assessment year. If the applicant is married, please put a tick in the box next to item A and provide information of the applicant's spouse in part two of the form. If the applicant is a single parent during the assessment year, please add a tick in the box next to item B and delete the inapplicable status. If there is any change in the marital status after the assessment period, you may provide the details in Part 7 of the form. If applicants need a paper-based application form in the next school year, please put a tick in the box of Item 11. To facilitate application and for environmental protection, the SFO encourages the use of electronic application. Applicants who have not marked a tick in this box will not receive the paper-based pre-printed application form in the next school year, but will be given an access code for getting the pre-filled electronic application form online and other relevant information. Therefore, applicants should remember to fill in the email address for receiving the access code. For Part 2 of the application form, Applicants should fill in the particulars of the applicant's family members and the financial assistance schemes being applied for. Applicants are required to fill in particulars of the spouse of the applicant in Item A of Part 2. Same as Part 1, the applicant is required to fill in the Chinese and English names, year of birth, Hong Kong ID card number, or information of other identity document, and the Hong Kong mobile phone number of the spouse. For Item B of Part 2, the applicant is required to provide particulars of student applicants and unmarried children residing with the family, starting from the youngest child. In addition to name, date of birth, and identity document number, it is also necessary to indicate whether the children concerned are under education in the assessment year in Item 5. If the applicant needs to apply for financial assistance for the pre-primary, primary, or secondary students for his or her children under education, please fill in the name of school, institution, class level, and mode of study, and tick Need, and select the student financial assistance schemes being applied for in Item 9. If unmarried children residing with the family are studying at tertiary institution in the school year of application, please check the box Do Not Need in Item 9. Please refer to the screen for the codes for filling in class level in Item 7. These codes are also listed in the Notes on How to Complete and Return Household Application Form. If there are more than four unmarried children residing with the family, please supplement information of the remaining unmarried child or children by appending a separate sheet with the applicant's signature. If you are a continuing applicant using the light yellow pre-printed form, please check the pre-printed data of your child or children. If there are more than four unmarried children residing with you, please verify the data of the children pre-printed on the supplementary information sheet of the household application form. In addition, for continuing applicants, the SFO has pre-printed the term time residential address of the student who has successfully applied for student travel subsidy, STS, in the preceding school year on the supplementary form SFO 283E. If you wish to continue to apply for STS, please verify the pre-printed data. If any amendment to the address is required, Please provide the student's term time residential address in full by filling in the boxes provided on the right-hand side. Please remember to sign and fill in the date at the bottom of the supplementary form and send it to the SFO together with the application form. Applicants applying for fee remission for student applicants aged 0 to 3 receiving whole-day childcare services in childcare centers should complete the Social Needs Assessment Form SFO 235A, which can be downloaded from the website of WFSFAA. 
Applicants should submit the completed social needs assessment form together with supporting documents and the application form to the SFO for processing. Item C of Part 2 is about the Family-Based Subsidy for Internet Access Charges, SIA. The SFO has assumed that the applicant's family needs the subsidy, but it is only applicable to families with primary and secondary students and have passed the means test. Applicants who need SIA should leave the box of do not need blank. If the applicant's family does not need the SIA, please put a tick in the box of do not need. If the applicant's family has dependent parents, please fill in item D of part two. Who can be counted as dependent parents? The father or mother of the applicant or the applicant's spouse will be counted if the father or mother is not a recipient of the Comprehensive Social Security Assistance, CSSA, at the time of submission of application and is not in employment during the assessment year and meet any one of the following conditions for at least six months throughout the assessment year, namely resided with the applicant's family or resided in the premises owned or rented by the applicant or his or her spouse or resided in an elderly home and the expenses were fully paid by the applicant or his or her spouse or totally supported by the applicant or his or her spouse. Please note that the applicant or his or her spouse should continue to support their parent in this school year and the form of support should be similar to that in the year of assessment. As the number of family members may affect directly the level of assistance the applicant's family is eligible for, the applicant should provide supporting documents such as tenancy agreement, residential address proof, or receipt of the home for the elderly, etc. for assessment. If your family has no dependent parents who meet the above definition, please leave the section blank. If the parent of the applicant or the spouse is a recipient of the CSSA at the time of submission of application and or in employment during the assessment year and hence does not meet the definition of dependency, please put a tick in the box next to yes. If your family has more than two dependent parents, please supplement their information by appending a separate sheet with the applicant's signature. Please provide the residential address in Part 3. If the applicant's residential address is the same as the correspondence address in Part 1, please leave this part blank. The applicant should fill in his or her income information and that of his or her family members in Part 4, including the mode of employment, position and period, total annual income in the assessment year, etc. If the applicant or a family member was a housewife, was unemployed, or has retired in the assessment year, please specify the status and relevant duration in the position column. If necessary, additional sheets signed by the applicant may be added to provide the information. Applicants should fill in the actual income and should not fill in approximate figures and figures in decimal places. The income to be reported includes the income within or outside Hong Kong. In addition to the salary for full-time, part-time, and temporary jobs, it also includes double pay, allowance, bonus, or commission, studentship, wages in lieu of notice of dismissal, business profits, and other income earned by means of self-employment. In addition, please fill in other incomes including contribution from any person or persons not residing with the applicant's family, rental income, interest income, alimony, monthly pension, widow's and children's compensation, etc. Please fill in the income in the appropriate space. Finally, please fill in the total amount of income in the total column at the bottom of Part 4. For the types of income that need to be reported and those need not to be reported, please refer to the Notes on How to Complete and Return Household Application Form. If the applicant has incurred medical expenses for family members who are chronically ill or permanently incapacitated during the assessment year, the details of medical expenses can be stated in Part 5 of the application form. 
Applicants must provide relevant medical certificate or certificates and receipt or receipts issued by the hospitals, clinics, or registered practitioners for consideration of deducting such expenses. The ceiling of deductible amount of medical expenses is set out in the Notes on How to Complete and Return Household Application form. Please provide the information of the applicant's bank account for payment of assistance in Part 6 of the form. As the grant for school-related expenses for kindergarten students and various types of financial assistance for primary and secondary students will be released by AutoPay, the applicant must provide the correct English name of the bank account holder, bank account number, and bank name together with the relevant supporting documents. Please note that the bank account must be a valid account solely under the name of the applicant. Joint bank account, credit card account, loan account, fixed deposit account, and foreign currency account are not accepted. You only need to fill in the numbers. The hyphen symbols between the numbers are not required. If the applicant needs to update the bank account number after submitting the application form, Please notify the SFO in writing together with a copy of the bank account information showing the account holder's name and account number as soon as possible, so as to avoid any delay in the disbursement of financial assistance. The applicant can provide supplementary information about his or her family status in Part 7 of the form. If it is not required, please leave this section blank. Next, I will give three examples of situation that require for providing of supplementary information. First, if the student applicant reported in Part 2 is not a self-bearing child of yours, please specify his or her name in Part 7 and explain in detail with proof why the application is not submitted by the parent of the student. Second, if the applicant's family is receiving, has received CSSA any time during the period from the beginning of the assessment year to the time of submitting the application, please specify the relevant duration, names of the family members receiving CSSA, and quote the CSSA reference number. Third, if the applicant has special financial hardship or there are substantial changes in his or her family situation after the assessment period, such as unemployment or substantial drop in income of a family member, etc., he or she can also give details in Part 7 with proof when submitting the application for consideration by the SFO. Part 8 of the application form is the declaration of the applicant and applicant's spouse. After reading through the contents of the declaration, the applicant and the applicant's spouse should sign in the space provided under the declaration and fill in the identity document number and date. After completion of the form by following the procedures just detailed, I will proceed to explain to you how to submit the application and supporting documents. I will brief you about the required supporting documents first. The first one is identity document. New applicants must submit a copy of the identity documents of the applicant and his or her family members, including dependent parents. As for continuing applicants, if the applicant, his or her family members, or dependent parents have amended any information on their identity documents, or if there is additional family member, they must provide a copy of the identity documents of the members concerned. There will be exemption from submitting the relevant supporting documents if the following requirements are met. 1. Applicant or the family member or members has or have a successful application under the Financial Assistance Scheme of the SFO and has or have submitted a copy of their Hong Kong ID card in the above successful application. And 2. There is no change in personal particulars on the Hong Kong ID card. The next item is the supporting document of bank account. New applicants must provide a copy of the bank statement or the first page of the bank book. As for continuing applicants, if they have updated their bank account information, they should provide a copy of the bank statement or the first page of bank book as supporting proof for their new account. There will be exemption from submitting the relevant supporting documents if the following requirements are met. 1. 
applicant has a successful application under the financial assistance scheme of the SFO and was disbursed with payment of grant and or loan to his or her bank account, while the applicant has submitted a copy of bank account proof in the above successful application. And two, applicant uses the same bank account, that is, the above bank account which has been disbursed with grant and or loan, in the application this time. For the exemption from submitting identity documents and bank account documents just mentioned, the decision of the SFO will be final in case of any disputes. If necessary, the applicant may still be required to submit the relevant supporting documents. The next item to cover is the documentary proof on income in the assessment year. All applicants, including both new applicants or continuing applicants, should provide the tax demand note issued by the Inland Revenue Department for all salaried employed persons in the family. If this is not available, please provide the employer's return of remuneration and pensions form, salary statement, or bank transaction record, or bank passbook showing payment of salary, allowance, etc. If a copy of the bank transaction record or passbook is submitted, please also provide the page showing the name of bank account holder and use a color pen to highlight the income related entries and providing remarks. For any entries other than income, please also make necessary remarks next to them. If none of the above income proofs is available, please use sample one attached to the application documents and submit the income certificate certified by the employer. As for self-employed drivers or persons running business, they are required to provide profit and loss account verified by a certified public accountant. If there is no relevant profit and loss account, please submit the profit and loss account prepared on your own using sample two or three attached to the application documents together with the personal assessment notice, if applicable. If the salaried employed or self-employed persons cannot provide any income proofs, Please use sample 4 in the application documents to provide self-prepared income breakdown, detailing the monthly income throughout the year and explaining why income proof cannot be provided. If the applicant fails to provide justification for not providing income proof, the SFO may not further process the application. Finally, persons with rental income should provide the tenancy agreement or the bank transaction record showing the rental income together with the page showing the name of the bank account holder. If the applicant's family is a single parent family, new applicants should provide a copy of supporting document for separation or divorce or the spouse's death certificate. If the supporting document is not available, Please explain in writing and sign on an explanatory note for consideration by the SFO. For a continuing applicant who has declared his or her family as a single parent family and submitted relevant supporting documents for separation or divorce or spouse's death certificate in the preceding school year, the applicant is still required to declare in writing again that the single parent situation remains unchanged in this school year. Meanwhile, please be reminded that the applicant should submit a copy of documentary proof on unavoidable medical expenses to the SFO if he or she has incurred medical expenses for family members who are chronically ill or permanently incapacitated or documentary proof on the dependent parents, if any, in the assessment year. Applicants should read the guidance notes on household application and the notes on how to complete and return household application form on the WFSFAA's website regarding the latest requirements on submission of supporting documents. After completing the paper-based household application form, please submit the form with a copy of the relevant supporting documents to the SFO by post using the addressed envelope provided. Please affix sufficient postage. Insufficient postage will lead to non-delivery of the application form, in which case the SFO will not be able to process the application. Applicants should write their correspondence address at the back of the addressed envelope to avoid unsuccessful delivery. Applicants may also submit the application documents to the SFO's drop-in boxes or submit the application online. Online submission of electronic application form is flexible and convenient. If you wish to know more about the details, please watch the video of how to complete and submit the e-form on the Household Application for Student Financial Assistance Schemes on the WFSFAA's website. 
Apart from watching this video, you can browse the website of the WFSFAA for information about the student financial assistance schemes at pre-primary, primary, and secondary levels. The guidance notes on household application and the notes on how to complete and return household application form are also available on the WFSFAA's website. For any inquiries, please call the hotline at 2802-2345.